Should she make it work with her former almost fiancé, Jared, or will she move on and be with Zeke? And while the show answered this question in pretty much no uncertain terms, Michaela turns down Jared and goes to explore her options with Zeke, there are a lot of fans out there who wonder if that was really for the best. Here's why I believe, given everything that's happened to them, that Michaela and Jared should have absolutely made it work. Okay, but first let me back up a bit. So, Michaela was one of the passengers on the mysterious flight 828. The plane took off in 2013, but when it landed, everyone aboard found themselves in the year 2018. Five years had passed without them knowing it and their loved ones had all assumed them dead. This is kind of like the blip from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? For the people on the plane, it was just a normal flight. From their perspective, no time had passed. But for everyone else, they had experienced the grief of losing their loved ones and having to move on. So when Michaela boarded Flight 828, she was mulling over Jared's proposal. By the time she landed, however, she had decided to accept and get married. However, she found out that Jared had thought she had died and had already grieved for her. In fact, he had found comfort in Michaela's best friend, Lourdes, and had actually married in the intervening years. Obviously, the mysterious reappearance of Flight 828 throws many people's lives into chaos, especially Michaela and Jared's. This was a massive shock for the pair of them, as they both still had feelings for each other. You have to tell me, no matter what. Okay, look, I'll take that risk. I don't care. I do, okay? I do care. Now, I know it's a bit of a red flag that Michaela had to think about Jared's proposal in the first place, but it's a bit more layered than that. See, at the start of the series, Michaela is dealing with a lot of uncertainty in both her professional and personal life. That's honestly a big part of her character development across the series. So sure, at the beginning of the series, she may not have been mature enough to confidently say she wanted to be with Jared, but that's not who she is at the end of the story. In the series finale, all the passengers of Flight 828 are transported back in time to 2013, with their plane having safely landed. The passengers kept their memories of all that had transpired since then, but were given a second chance to live the lives they were meant to have. So, by this stage, I think it's clear that Michaela is confident enough to see that she is capable of succeeding in her career and in her relationship with Jared, especially considering that as soon as she returned, he felt nothing but love for her. gambled and I lost. I didn't do it all over again. He has at multiple times referred to her as his soulmate and the love of his life. Really what came between were the circumstances that her disappearance brought about. For one, Jared wasn't really able to understand the inexplicable callings that the 828 passengers experienced. Despite all the time that had passed and all the grief and pain that Jared had gone through, his love for Michaela never faded. Another thing is Jared's brief relationship with Drea that resulted in the pair having a child together. Of course, this only happened after Michaela Kayla left Jared for Zeke, which again, only really happened because of her five-year absence. See, pretty much the moment she reappeared, they started having an affair, which is obviously not very cool of Jared, seeing as he is married and all. She said that she and Jared had a plan. As soon as she got her master's degree, they would start trying. I'm sorry. I want you to be happy, Mick. I want you to have a full life. But the reality is that Michaela really was his first choice. And when she landed, she had decided to marry him. So by all accounts, they probably really should be together. And the fact that Jared never really got over her should really prove that he will always love her. Despite all of this, the pair have always seemed to return to each other. And even when Jared doesn't fully understand what Michaela is going through, he still supports her implicitly. He has shown several times that he is willing to risk everything to help Michaela, including his job and even his life. After he was left in a coma after helping Michaela and her brother Ben save other 828 passengers. And you're one of them, Robert Vance, NSA. No, I saw him getting loaded into the back of an ambulance. He didn't make it. She stayed by his side. Of course, she was obviously distraught and she prayed to the voices of the calling. She said she could lose him. And honestly, I think she really meant that. When he woke up, he grabbed her hand. She offered to get his wife, but he said that he didn't want that. He wanted her. That was definitely the moment I knew that these two really were meant to be together. They were absolutely a ride or die couple. I mean, it really did feel like it was circumstance that kept them apart. 
The timing was never right, so the fact that Michaela had the chance again to get the timing right and chose instead to pursue Zeke was honestly a major letdown. See, Zeke and Michaela's connection was only really there because of their shared experiences, which is totally understandable, sure. But Zeke doesn't have his memories of everything that happened like Michaela does, so that connection isn't really there. Sure, she did marry Zeke in the old timeline, but that was more due to the fact that he was meant to die the next day. Don't get me wrong, she definitely loved him and obviously still does but Zeke just isn't the person she remembers and probably won't ever be some people will argue that it's because Michaela's knowledge of how their lives would turn out is what keeps her from accepting Jared's proposal but I would argue that the same really holds true for her relationship with Zeke honestly I think it would have made more sense for her to not end up with either of them before she ended up with Zeke I just can't see them working together in this new timeline her and Jared on the other hand probably have a much better chance at making Making it work. I guess I feel that if Michaela believes she has outgrown the 2013 version of Jared, I can't really see how she doesn't feel the same way about 2013 Zeke. Because my best friend in the world, the person I would normally complain to instead of you, gets to love the person that I can't. If the series never happened, I really believe that Michaela would have accepted the proposal, her and Jared would have been married, and they would have been very happy together doing it. It's not like we saw over the course of the series them having some insurmountable conflicts or some deep-seated toxicity in their relationship. It was all just unfortunate timing and some divine skullduggery that really kept them apart. The slap in the face is that in the final episode, Michaela nudges Jared in Drea's direction, obviously to give them a chance to work together, but I don't think they really have a shot of making it work because Jared loves Michaela so strongly and never really moves on. Where to? Um, could you actually just drive? I kind of have nothing but time. Maybe now that he no longer thinks she's dead, he may be able to move past her more so than when he lost her so suddenly. But I don't know. I think if anything, we really learned from the series that they were always going to be drawn to each other. And I think the only reason why Jared's brief fling with Drea ever turned into anything bigger was because they got pregnant. Not because there was a connection as deep as the one he and Michaela shared. I really doubt that Jared would ever be able to truly move past Michaela. And if that is what the writers of the show wanted us to believe, they straight up didn't do a good job. Getting together with Jared was meant to be the life she could have had. The tragedy of the series was the fact that they really did love each other and in a fair world would have made it work. Maybe the window on their relationship closed, but if the message was that Michaela was supposed to take the opportunity to move on, why did she go for Zeke? I just don't get it. So while many of us have been left disappointed, there is definitely a lot to celebrate for the Zeke and Michaela fans out there. So there you have it. From some tragic circumstances to passing on a second chance, that was why Michaela should have ended ended up with Jared.